Hey guys and welcome to another video. Before I get started on the actual painting, I wanted to show something to you. I know I've been talking about silicone a lot lately and you're probably getting sick of it. I'm getting sick of it. <laughs> but I had that one painting that has silicone on it. If you'll remember, it is this one. So I've been trying to find out how to get, sorry I'm bending over the there it goes. Okay, anyway, I've been trying to figure out how to get silicone off of paintings, um, so I used this swipe I did, if you remember, the neon swipe, to do some testing on trying to get the silicone off, just using straight water, using um, water with a tiny little bit of alcohol in it, baby powder, <laughs> you guys, nothing worked. So I decided to go ahead and varnish this and see what would happen. And this is what, I don't know if you can see real well in this light, but the varnish bubbled. I'm trying to look in the camera. So see there at that angle? The varnish bubbled when I sprayed it on there because of the silicone. So I ta I've talked about that before in videos and I didn't have an example to show you, so now I do. And I have an example now in my arsenal to hang on my wall to remind me why I don't like using silicone. This is why I don't like doing it. Because I can't get it off. I can't figure out how to do it without ruining my painting. Anyway, enough of that. Just so you know, that's what happens when you use silicone. So all those people who use silicone on the rig and they don't have these issues, I don't, I'm going to have to try to message someone and be like, hey. How do you clean your silicone off <laughs> before you varnish because it's a mess. Okay, another news. I woke up this morning, you guys, and it was like 71 degrees outside, which means it was like 60 degrees in my house, which is amazing because it's been a brutal summer, and I actually just turned my air conditioner off, which I haven't done all summer, and I've got pumpkin spice creamer and my coffee, and I am super jazzed, so I'm doing a wandering tree ring and I'm going to do white instead of black and I'm doing a variety of blues um so I've got just the regular blue from artist Laflo acrylics I'm going to use the phthalo green um this is the metallic cobalt blue this one I'm going to butcher it you guys I think it's cerulean I don't know. That's what that one is, though. <laughs> and then this one is the um, Extreme Sheen Sapphire from Deco Art. And then I am going to use silver. So that's what we're doing with this wandering tree ring. I'll put... Maybe I won't do white first. I'm going to do the regular blue. I'm acting... Excuse me, guys. Um, I'm acting like it's December already. <laughs> With this color scheme, I'm like, yeah, I'm so excited. You have no idea. Well, I'm sure you do. It's been a brutal year. I live in, um, I'm sure you've heard me talk about this. I live in Southern California, not anywhere near a beach. I live in the desert. We live really close to the Mojave Desert, and it is terrible. Summers. I, it makes me want to cry. <laughs> ever want to leave the house it's terrible especially because most of us just have swamps um, which on top of humidity it's just miserable so the fact that I just turned my air conditioner off is like epically amazing and wonderful and I am like super happy so that's why we're going with a painting that looks like it's supposed to be flipping <laughs> December not the end of August and I'm sure we're going to spike back up heat-wise. That just tends to happen. But for now, we can be happy and celebrate in the fact that it is cool right now. Here goes Le Silver. I'm going to have way too much paint in this cup. But that's okay because it's just a 9 by 12 I could actually 
maybe I should. This one I think has chunkies in it, so I'm gonna try to like sift it through here. Oh lord. We'll see how this goes. Oh yeah, I think there's some gloopies in there. No! Oh well. I'm pro at getting gloops off my paintings now, you guys. So it's okay. Just gloop away. Okay. That's a lot of paint for this canvas size. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab an 11 by 14. Sorry, this video is like a mess. I'm talking about silicone. I'm talking about my weather here and how I'm excited about it. It's being cooler and now I have to change my canvas size. It's cool, it's cool, it's cool. Okay. Better. Now. I think I'm going to throw just a little bit more white inside the cup and then I'll put some down on the canvas. And I'm not going to start in the middle this time. I'm kind of going to start over in a little corner. Oh, now my lid won't go on. Jeez. <laughs> Got all excited and now I'm all a mess. Go figure. Okay, got my torch real quick, so it's bubbly. Okay, we're cool. I'm going to take a sip of my pumpkin spice coffee, which is delicious. Oh my gosh. Okay, here we go. A little spout. And here we go. Okay, so I don't know what it is about that that it, like requires intense amounts of concentration and no talking, but it does. So, and I did see uh, gloopies come out of there, so that's fun. Um, so because my white ended up 
sinking and being weird I want to try to keep that so I'm going to try to like go this way first um let's see what happens that silver is really selling through all right we're just going to go for it Oh, I just hit my friggin' phone with the canvas. I hope I didn't get <laughs> paint on it. That would be my luck. Oh, it's getting in your way right now. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. So I like it. It's interesting. Like, there's like these tiny, I'm not going to try to point over this while I have paint all over my hands. But there's these tiny little lines here, which is cool. The silver really took over the top half. Um, but you can still see lines. The white didn't completely disappear, which happens to me on the reg, you guys. If you know anything about, about me and my struggle with this white. So I'm going to go wash my hands, let the dog out because he's looking at me like, why am I not outside? And we'll come back for a close-up. Okay, guys. So I'm back. This is just a few minutes later. I um, torched it one more time real quick because with this type of look I didn't really care if I had some cells and I did my like sideways slant look for some of those gloopies and I don't see them so hopefully they ran off they ran off they just left they didn't want to be here <laughs> okay so here we got a bunch of defined rings which is really cool and my brightness on my phone is way down let me turn it up so I can even see what I'm looking at okay yeah so those colors are pretty true now this area is a little more green see those little tiny rings and then this is where the silver kind of took over which it tends to do but we still have rings or lines, I guess. But yeah, it's cool. I like it. Very cool. <laughs> cool temperature, guys. So, yes, I'm glad it's finally getting a little bit cooler. And I like this painting. And if you like this painting, hit subscribe and more will be coming your way. Check out my Instagram, which is linked below. And there will be dry pictures of this once it's up. And I hope you guys have a good day. Bye.